So you've probably seen it uh, shown on TV or in articles about how pro hockey players train, but are you really sure that resisted training, resisted sprint training, I should say, is going to make you faster on the ice? In this next segment, I'm going to talk a little bit about sled training for hockey players. I'm Maria from HockeyTrainingPro.com, where my mission is to help 10,000 players win more games with fewer injuries. Let's look at a few exercises you can do with a resistance sled to improve your speed on the ice. One of the first exercises we start people with on the sled, regardless of their level of play, is just a sled march. So teaching them to stabilize their torso as they drive with their hips. So we have them bring their knees up until their thigh is about 90 degrees to their torso. So about this height, but keeping their back neutral. Because what we find if we just jump into sled sprints and heavy pushes is that people are rounding their back as they're bringing their knees up and they're kind of using um, sort of a complex hip flexion, lumbar flexion, hip extension, lumbar extension pattern and that's not what we want. We really want to teach you to be able to use your torso and stabilize with your torso while driving with your legs or battling in corners, that type of thing. So we always start off with that little sled mark. And from there we move into a sled sprint. So we grab a little bit lower, we keep our hips down. We don't want our hips way up behind us. And then we drive it, keeping a good fast tempo. So we don't want the sled so heavy that it gets labored and that we're sort of really pushing it hard. We want to have it so that we can keep up our quick tempo, putting lots and lots of force into the ground very, very quickly. So we'll push the sled from behind with the handles, but we can also push it from the front using the straps. And I like to do this because it requires a little bit more upper body stabilization, a little more stabilization through the torso, a little bit more stabilization through the shoulders. The way you may have to, you know, um, if you're skating for the puck and sort of battling someone off using one hand, you need to stabilize with the torso, be using your upper extremities to stabilize or to do something different while still generating power from your legs. So it looks like this. One of my favorite exercises with the sled, uses an energy system development circuit, is a sled push down the length of the gym and then a sled pull back. So staying low in our legs, make sure we're getting a full push from our quadriceps as we pull that sled all the way back to the back. Typically we'll do that and then we'll set a timer for a minute. So we'll start one on the minute, down, back. If that only takes 11 seconds, you get 49 seconds to rest. You can hear it's a lot of work. So you can see the sled is a great tool for adding overload to your leg power conditioning. It's going to help make you faster on the ice and you get also a nice dynamic core stabilization benefit from it. So you can see why I spend thousands of dollars of my own money to put turf in the gym so we could run these sleds inside. In the nice weather there's a park across the road and we can get out and we can do uh, some more sled drills and over a little bit longer distance. But actually especially if you're training speed you just need a short distance. You just want to accelerate, get up to top speed and then shut it down with lots of rest so you're sure to get high intensity, good quality speed training. This is Maria from HockeyTrainingPro.com. I'll see you next time.